head coach Will Brown joining us right now. Good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon, coach. What's going on, guys? Oh, you know, just uh, reading the papers and stuff. <laughs> You guys must. You guys must really be bored. <laughs> no, man. Um, I'm just sad that we haven't talked since uh, UFC 205. Yeah, no, you guys are busy, man. You're talking to too many big timers. Uh, I'm the JV, my man. Oh, stop it. <laughs> now, just to put everything aside real quick, and then we can actually talk about on the court. Spoke to you, spoke to Pat. So, so like, you guys genuinely like and respect each other. This is just this is just some some a little squabbling before a game, right? Jim, J- Jimmy's a good guy. We get along uh, really well. At least um, we have. You know, my thing, uh, I'm not taking shots at Jimmy. Um, I'm responding to st- comments he made that I just don't like uh, in regards to my program. You know, he shouldn't be talking about, you know, whether I have junior college players or I don't. He shouldn't be talking about us playing a non-Division One game. You know, he shouldn't be saying we begged them 10 years ago to play us because he wasn't there 10 years ago. And for him to say this is the last time they're coming into our building, um, he doesn't make that call. And the other thing is, you know, he's waiting for a thank you card for me. Well, he's going to be waiting an awfully long time. Uh, I respect their program. Um, I think by far... Uh, they're the most talented team in the MAC, one through five. They've got four all all MAC caliber uh, starters, and then they've got the sophomore Clareth, who at some point in his career will lead the MAC in scoring. So, if you've got a group like that, why don't you focus on uh, on that? And I know uh, Jimmy uh, tries to be humorous and. Uh, you know, he thinks he's funny, and a lot of it is done, you know, for comedy. I, I get all that. But, you know, don't worry about who I recruit, you know, who I schedule. Uh, you know, worry about your own program. So, really, it's me defending our program, defending my kids, defending our athletic department uh, and our university. Um, you know, I'm not taking shots at anything that's going on over there with their kids. I'm just worried about my, uh, you know, my own guys and, and trying to get better. So, you know, that, that's the stuff, uh, you know, it, it irked me. Um, I felt I needed to respond. Uh, but like I said, we do get along, uh, you know, really well. I don't expect this, uh, to change at all, change that at all unless he continues with some of the nonsense. But, uh, like I said, I, I I root for them every game but one. I hope they play the worst game they play all year on Sunday. Uh, but like I said, uh, Jimmy's a good dude, and uh, I just don't think there's no need for, you know, the nonsense, as I like to call it. Coach Will Brown with us. Coach, does, does any of this get in the way of preparing for that game? Uh, not, not, not for me. I mean, uh, they're going to be, and I call it as it is, uh, you know, we're a work in progress right now. We have a nice win over Penn State. And then, uh, our last couple of games, we've played 20 minutes of good basketball, uh, each half. So we're not where we need to be. I think they have a huge advantage and I think they're heavily favored in, uh, you know, in this game. Um, I do think we have a chance when it's all said and done this year to be pretty good. We're only about eight deep right now, and we just lost our most talented front court player for probably a couple of weeks with a hamstring issue, a new kid, Jerron Lands. Uh, so, you know, we'll be down to like a seven man rotation, and uh, some other guys are going to have to step up these next few weeks. But. You know, I'm just worried about worried about my own team. I think this is going to be a, a fun atmosphere, uh, a good game. Uh, I know I look at it as this is an opportunity for us to play a really good team that I think will help us get better. And there's some things that we're going to have to do in this game to have a chance to win, and our guys really need to embrace the, uh, you know, the preparation heading into this game. Coach, you've played four games in seven days. What is your schedule now for the rest of the week of practice leading up to that matchup with CN on Sunday? Yeah, that, that's a great question. I mean, we, we first two games of the year, we left on a Thursday to head out to Penn State. We didn't come back uh, until Tuesday late afternoon, uh, and then we played Wednesday in our non-D1 game, and then we played Saturday and Sunday back-to-back, and I tried to get our guys to understand, when you play Saturday night, we play Grand Canyon. I mean, that's a big-time operation there. They won 28 games last year, transfers from all over the country. They've got Thunder Dan Marley coaching them. Uh, they're, they're really good, and, you know, so that next game, you know, it's like, hey, whatever team wants it the most is going to win. And I thought we did a, enough in the second half to win that game. But we're off today. 
We're off tomorrow. I think we need a good two days to kind of decompress, rejuvenate, uh, and then focus. We'll, we'll practice Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then we'll throw that thing up on uh, on Sunday and see what happens. You talked about the you know how good Sienna is, uh, how good you have to be to beat them. What what can you guys do? What you know? Obviously, you've got a lot of talent. It's just you not you said you're not as deep as you want to be. What do you have to do to get the win? Well, the, t- the tough thing for us is last year when we went into that game, we were without uh, Richard Peters and Travis Charles. Travis had just started with the heart ailment, and Rich at 6'10", 275 pounds. That was two of our four big guys. So we ended up having to play really small with Dallas Enema, a small forward playing power forward, and they buried us on the glass. Now, this year, not having Jerron Lands, who's 6'6", 260, hurts us again. So we have to rebound the ball against them. And then the other thing is our transition defense and our team defense needs to be really good, which neither have been up to this point uh, you know, in the season. Uh, hence, we're a work in progress. But I do think that uh, we have to do our best to make this an X and O game, a game from the shoulders up, uh, we can't get caught up to running up and down the floor and making it a pickup game because they have too much talent uh, for this to be a pickup game. We have to really we don't have to hold the ball, but we have to force them to defend. We have to take our time offensively, and we have to collectively defend five on five uh, in the half court. If this is just a, a track meet and a pickup game, um, they have too much talent for us to beat them. 104.5, the team, your home for New York sports and you, Albany, great things, uh, basketball. So, Coach, uh, we haven't talked since 205. Conor McGregor, is he, is, is he officially as good as he thinks he is? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, we watched that as a staff while we were out on the road the night after uh, Penn State. And some of my staff follow the UFC. Some of them don't. And so I, I told them, and, and I love Conor McGregor. I think he's great for sports. Uh, great press conference. Uh, you know, so we're sitting there watching, and right as it's about to start, they're like, you know, who do you think's going to win, coach? I said, I, I said, I want McGregor to win. I said, I just think Alvarez is a whole other animal. I think he's going to wrestle him down, and uh, he's going to win the fight. And sure enough, he fought McGregor's game, stood up. McGregor obviously got into his head uh, weeks leading into the fight because you wanted to prove how good of a boxer he was and that he could knock him out standing. And uh, McGregor put him to sleep, basically. I mean, that guy, that guy's amazing. Coach, I know we talked about this last week when I was filling in for Ron or Chris Honorado. I was lucky enough to be there. We're hoping that the Great Danes maybe put on a per- McGregor-like performance in the Albany Cup. We'll just say that. Hopefully you guys have that same intensity well, stepping I'll onto the tell, court. I'll tell you what. Um, I don't think a McGregor-like performance is going to win us the game because that's going to be one big knockout. If we can if we can be Floyd Mayweather and, <laughs> and win the slap box for 12 rounds, you know, slap and move uh, and, and just stick to our game, game plan. Uh, I think we need to be more uh, Mayweather than McGregor, but I will tell you what, if we have any McGregor in us, uh, you know, let's let it out, but we're not going to, you know, we're not going to follow in McGregor's footsteps with predictions uh, or going for knockouts. So we just need to take a deep breath and, and stick to the game plan. Busy week for the coach this week is the, uh, you know, holiday and everything else. And uh, we appreciate you taking time, Will. And uh, we just, we're glad to actually talk about a little bit of hoops. Yeah, we talked a little bit of hoops. I was I was impressed. And how about Coach Gattuso's season? They did, they oh. had a great year, and uh, you know he did a, he did a great job with his team. And uh, looks like their future uh, is very bright. How much how much does that that program help your program? Well, you know what I what I like about uh, you know our athletic department is it's so well rounded. Uh, we have so many sports that are really competing at a high level and are enjoying success. We're not a one-trick pony. Um, There's an emphasis on being good and being well-rounded. I think football, obviously, is right before basketball season. You know, they have some success. I think our guys see them having success and the soccer programs. And, you know, so our guys want to have success. And I think the energy around the football stadium is good, and hopefully that carries into the SEFQ arena. I think it's a win-win for everybody involved. Love it. Will Brown, head coach of the Great Danes Hoops program. We appreciate your time, sir. Uh, best of luck on, on Sunday. We're going to be there and, uh, we, we, uh, we here two to seven. We're Switzerland. We just like, uh, we just like how great you guys all are. 
Well, hey, I, I, I love how politically correct you guys are. <laughs> Wait, no one's ever said that about me before. Somebody pull that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. But, uh, hey, you guys do a great job, and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys on uh, Sunday, and make sure you're wearing your purple. Yes, sir, we will do. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be great. Cannot wait. Coach, uh, happy uh, Thanksgiving to you, and uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Hey, enjoy the holidays, guys.